Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Little Big Workshop. As you can see, everyone's in fast forward mode. We went bankrupt at the end of the last episode, so I had to reload. This was the last autosave. It was when we were getting these 14 hoverboards made. And I know this pays out really well. So we're going to try the challenge again for these. And hopefully we pick the right recipe this time. Because last time, when we went bankrupt... We weren't using the advanced foundry for whatever reason, and that I think is what killed us. So I think if we can do the hoverboard challenge again and pick the proper plan, we should be good and not go bankrupt. So that is the plan for today. So let's try to catch back up to that part. All right, here we go. Deliver those. This gets up to us up to like 10 grand, I think, 11 grand. All right. So then let's try hoverboards again, create plan. So we want to try plan two. Here we go. And let's execute again. Oh, wow. Hoverboards only cost 1700 to make too. That is not bad at all. All right. Before we get started on that, let's repair everything. So that way they are good to go. All right, let's go, let's go. And then let's do the same thing of splitting some of these up. Let's send like 12 of these over to the station at 12% or 25% efficiency. It'll help out a little. Get us a little bit ahead of the game. I really wish they would just deliver the raw material straight to the workstation zone, but they don't. They seem to go based on distance, which really sucks. Because then they drop it all here, and then they have to bring it all the way over here, and then they work on it. A little bit of wasted time there. And if I didn't have this general zone, for some reason they complained they had no space to put wood, even though this station is supposed to be for wood. So I don't know. I had to add this, and it... Really annoying to have that. Alright, how's all this working? I don't think we need to overdrive these, since we have... The advanced foundry working on the chassis itself. All right, keep casting. Oh, we can split up the actual hoverboard process, right? Yeah, we can. Totally, totally. Split all this up and one for each. Perfect. Perfect, perfect. Hey, market refresh. All right, so last time what happened? We bought an extra foundry, so that took out like two grand? 1200 or something? And then we ended up going bankrupt. So if we don't even need to build another foundry, and if we don't even get to bankruptcy, that means this plan is way better. And we started this with what? 11 grand? So let's see where we end up once we sell all these. Because this may be our new tall drawers. Because it seems like we can make this really damn quick. We were so ahead of schedule too. We're like half a day, full day ahead of schedule. Getting this done twice as fast as they want it. Oh, come on, there's only a little bit left, people. You got this, you got this. All right, two more engines. Come on, there we go. This should be the last one. All right, now the last one should be made, or the hoverboard itself should be made. There we go. Come on, work on it. There you go, deliver it. Yeah, that seems like a break even. I think that's about a break, okay. Coffins? Ooh, not coffins this time. I kind of wish it was Coffins. Coffins paid a decent amount. Although his... The ones that he want with the fire usually pay a lot. Look at this, 12000 for a chair. So since we actually finished that other challenge, let's actually do this. We only have one thing to be cast. So I think we are better off keeping this on this foundry that can have two. Bending's already set up. I think everything is already set up. 
Why can't I execute? Lacking the cash. Okay. So let's go back, finish up the hoverboards. And also let's repair while we wait. And we should be golden. There we go. Oh, that gave us like a net two grand. All right, and then we can accept this plan. Go to plan, execute. There we go. All right, let's get these chairs made. Oh wow, we got some catching up to do. The unloading process taking a bit. Look at that, we're ahead already. Perfect. That's what I like to see. I really wish we could use any recipes for this and throw them in the advanced foundry to help out. It sucks that we can't. Only certain recipes are dedicated for the advanced foundry. All right, let's go, let's go. So we started at 13,000. We'll see if we end up ahead above that. I think firing those workers helped a bit too. Help keep, keep our monthly running cost in a healthy level. Wait, why are we falling behind? What? Okay, what's what's being wait, waited on? Okay, this is waiting. Can I split this up anywhere? I can. Okay. Screw it. Make one over there. And let's overdrive these. And what else? Then just final assembly? Oh, split this up. Okay. Let's put two there. And we'll take this one, put it there. There we go. Oh my god, how are we not going to finish this? Why are you all standing around? Okay, we got a 12th. We got a 13th. No! Okay. You know what? We still ended up decently well there. Alright, sell all that. Let's do another challenge. More challenges! Okay, what pays a lot? This lady pays a ton. Oh, mini boats. What? Let me guess, this is gonna branch out into like a 15 stage thing, isn't it? Oh, yo, there it is. That's a lot of woodworking. Holy crap. How's our design? You know what? I think we can just pick all the base woods. What, we can't pick all the base woods? 23 to 32, so we gotta do the advanced woods. Wait, how does that not get us to it? I could have sworn the range was yellow, which means we could have did it. 8 to 14, so we definitely need that. Huh? What am I missing here? So if we do the high end, 14, and the high end for this, 21, that should be 35. How can we not get to 35? Oh. Really? I gotta make it out of this particle board crap again? Are you kidding me? You know what? Let's do this, and let's make the mast out of solid wood. There we go. Perfect. All right, let's assign it all. So this is going to be a lot of cutting. A lot, a lot, a lot of cutting. A lot of glowing too, it looks like. Oh, that's a lot of glowing. Some lathe work. Got to make 30 of those, so we definitely need to overdrive that. And then final assembly. Ooh. Ooh, I don't know if this, I don't think this is a good plan to make. I think there's too many operations on a couple machines. I think that'll kill us. Let's look back at this table. Is there anything I could do for the advanced? I would love to use the advanced foundry. Okay, so this is all pouring. So maybe we don't do all pouring. Maybe we do some the metal press instead. 
Metal press on that one. Okay. And then I think the rest should be good. Then let's link it all. There we go. And let's try this one. So we started that at 17,000. We'll see where we end up at this, at the end of this. All right, get to cutting. Get the metal pressing and forming. Let's go, let's go. Almost day 200 of our factory being open. Really cruising. We are really cruising on our timetable here. As long as we come ahead of 17,000, I am in a happy place. Ooh, market refresh. What else do we got? Oh, the mini car engines. We really want to try that. It pays so well and a good amount of reputation. So we will definitely try that next. Don't want to try it now because a lot of our metal is being used up. Actually, is it? I think a lot of our metal's done. Oh, never mind. We will go for that right now. All right, create plan. Okay, press. Let's do... Okay, so this is the advanced. So how about we do two advanced, two normal, and then a press. Okay, that evenly distributes pretty well. Need more strength. So what gives us more strength? So this gives us the most strength if we go up, but that's not going to give us the most strength overall. Oh, nope. Gives the most strength. Those are equal. This we have to do the advanced. Wait, how can we get to 32 then? We have to. F oh, we have to weld here. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got to weld. Got to weld. So yeah, we'll press these then. Let's do all the basic metals just to see where we end up. Okay, 30. So let's see. This will probably be the cheapest one to bump up. There we go. And actually, can we pour some of this? There we go. Hey, can we pour this too? Oh, we don't want to pour this because that's too many pouring operations. Yeah, we'll weld this instead, or we'll press that instead. Actually, we'll press both of these. That should be fine. And then we'll do this one because it's the least amount of parts. All right, let's set this up. Because apparently we no longer need metal for the tables. That part's all done. All right, then final assembly. Welding comes down there. And final assembly, we'll, th we'll throw there too. And execute. That only cost $582? What? Oh, that's going to pay a good amount, I think. All right, get all the parts unloaded. We need them. All right, then let's also repair this stuff. Just so that we put our idle workers to good use. All right, that should be good. All right, tables. What's the hold up with tables? Just assembly? Oh, am I doing the thing again where they're not being distributed? I sure am. There we go. That should help. There we go. Now they're working on all the parts at once. Beautiful. Oh, brain slugs. Nice. This will be some nice bonus money here. All right, brain slugs, where are you? Oh, 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 I see you. Wow, it's these three. Then it was. What else was it? Nope. 
It's you. And one more. I think you're out and about in the shop. Oh, there you are. Nice. Cool seven grand. All right. I'm liking this. We're finally, finally in decent money here. Come on, two more tables. And the final table? There you go. It's over those. So we'll tr subtract 7,000 from what we end up with because I just got that from the brain slugs and we'll see where we end up. All right. So we would have ended up at 18,000. So yeah, that was about a break even plan. It did give us a good amount of rep though and experience. So it's probably worth it in the end. I mean, I could just make tables again. And we can definitely make them faster next time because I know I need to split up making the the legs of it. Yeah, I think we go for it. Wait, why is this? Oh, plan one doesn't meet requirements. That's why it picks a new plan. Well, if that's the case, that's an easy fix. Just bada bing, bada boom. Done. All right, let's go. Let's make these engines, make the tables. Hopefully we didn't just bottleneck ourselves on the metalworking stations. I think we'll be fine though, quite honestly. All right, let's make sure we break all this up. Two there. Uh, four tables is fine there for now until we break all this up. There we go. All right, we're gonna have to do some catching up with the adjustable table for sure. They're at least working on the wood part of it. Wait, why do they keep repairing these so much? Do I really have them auto repairing? Oh, I think the, the assembly workers, I think they auto repair, right? I think that's what's going on. Ooh, adjustable tables are taking off too. Nice. There we go. Deliver. Get these engines out. Okay, and then how's table assembly going? It's going really well. Perfect, perfect. Level up. Nice. Wait, so is that a level three? Uh, workers, no, I want client relations. You're level three. Nice. Oh, they pay better too. Ooh. So I should have totally been doing more. More client based work. Heck yeah. Thank you. All right, so where are we at on here? Okay, so wood's done. So let's see, can we do another wood challenge? And eh, we don't really have anything that's wood. This is, what is this, a snow bob? How do we make a snow bob? Okay, let's just select a bunch of wood here. Plastic. Used to be light comfort. Okay, where do we get comfort from? Oh, is this the seat? All right, so comfort would be... Oh, we gotta make a cushion seat. I see, I see. Okay, steering wheel. Now, how do we get more strength? I guess we could just up the wood. Oh no, even if we up the wood, it's not enough strength. So we can't change this. So we can change this. That does nothing. Wait, so how do we... How do we get enough strength? Because even if I max all this out, it's not enough. Yeah, even if I do the max materials here, it's not enough. 
and I can't change. I can change this, but then we don't have our comfort met. So that has to stay no matter what. I can't change this. Oh, six to eight. So I can get a little bit better here. And this is, oh, plastic. This has less operation, so I'll go with this for plastic. There we go. So then I can lower the, oh, I can't lower the wood. Crap. Okay, so everything has to stay how it is. So let's get this set up. Make some little snow bobs. Snow bobs. All right. And that little guy, plastic forming. And welding. Assembly. Final assembly. And sewing. And more plastic. There we go. Execute, shall we? We have four days to complete that one. Four and a half days. Should easily be able to do that. Ooh, we're almost gonna level. Nice. We'll definitely level from making these tables. And then I think we go for an intern? I think that's our plan? All right, get to work, get to work, people. Market refreshed again. Okay, so now we're getting some more engine stuff. 23,000, oh. That's probably really complicated, oh boy. This is one heck of a complicated recipe. Holy crap. We do not have the production means for that. Oh, is this not broken up again? No, it is. Ooh, here we go. Let's break this up and send some of these down here then. There we go. Ooh, a lot of people went on break just then. All right, five more tables. Then we can focus on these snow bobs. Make sure nothing's gonna explode on us. I think we're good though. All right, two more, two more, two more. One more table. Do it, someone make the table. Thank you. Deliver. Burp, burp. Burp, burp. Let's go, let's go. Hey, payment, thank you. And we leveled. Ta-da! All right, so we got six points, nice. So we can't do this final tier because we need to unlock the gold tier. Wait, can we do this? Mass employment? Oh my god, we can. These improvements are for factories that want to produce as much as possible, as cheap, cheap as possible. Mass production is focused on having plenty of workers, workstations, large orders, and solving the challenging logistics that come with it. Premium. This factory focuses on revolving around creating few, but also complex and valuable products. Ugh. Complex products. Bleh. So what do we get out of this? Market expansion. Super haulers, industrial design, reduces comfort penalty on all workstations. Nice. Unlock clunk foundry and clunk plastic injection machine in the shop. Code red. All workers ignore energy drain for 12 hours. Whoa. Maybe we go for one of those. Although we're just unlocking that, right? Ooh, operator and hauler salaries decreased by 35%. Recruitment costs decreased by 50%. So we're instantly going to save on salaries if we do this. Because let me see. I don't think plastic production, we need advanced yet. Intern's not going to matter. We're not even at the employee cap currently. I don't think we care about delayed transport. And we can't get the bottom tier. Oh, let's go for mass production. 
We did it. We did it. Oh, that might have been a bad choice, but we'll see. So, did their salaries go way down? Can't even tell. All right, here we go. Here we go. Let's make these snow bobs. Get them out. Actually, let's make sure all these are evenly distributed. They're probably not. Oh, we can distribute some of this at least. All right, that works. Oh, so they're just making the lower assembly. So this is making the whole thing. So we can definitely split that up. And we can split that up. Make that go there. All right, all right, we're cruising. We're cruising right along. All right, we're running into the problem with idle workers again. They're just not working. No one's assembling. Okay, they're assembling because they are waiting for the plastic part, which isn't being made. Oh, plastic is killing us. Plastic is killing us. Hey, why are you repairing that? I didn't tell you to repair that. If anything, we need to overdrive that. Come on, make more plastic. There you go. Ooh, plastic is killing us. I don't think it's worth it to buy another injection press, though. Don't think it's worth it. So good to know. We definitely need to keep on challenges. Challenges are the way to go. Oh, so glad we got mass production now. So if anything next, I probably want to go to industrial design. Because it reduces comfort penalty. So which means the... Let's see. Is it here? I thought there was a way to see. Decorations. There's a way to see all the comfort in a room. How did I see that? Zones? No. Remodel? No. Plots? No. I don't know. There was a way to see over every single room how much comfort was in that room. And the comfort determines how quickly they run out of energy. So if they run out of energy, 25% less. That would be great. So how do we see this? Because here's you can even see a plus 40. Oh, here we go. See, look at that. We have minus 343 room or mood. And that will decrease by 25% just about. Which would be great. The fall asleep left less often. All right, make these final snow bobs. What are we waiting on again? Steering wheels. Oh, come on. Why are you repairing that again? It's barely green. All right, now they should start assembling the actual frame. There we go. And then now they should just start cranking out the final units. There we go, there we go. Last two. One, one more. Hey, there we go. Snow Bob's delivered. Get him out, get him out, get him out. Woo! Over 30 grand from going bankrupt at the end of the last episode. Oh, what a run today. What a run. The little, what, what do we have? The brain slugs helped for sure. But dang, doing contracts is definitely the way to go. I thought I would have learned that a couple episodes ago, but apparently not. Because I didn't realize the more you do con- Ooh, little sky knife. What is this? It's like a remote control plane. Oh, that's so awesome. All right. So yeah, we're definitely got to keep on working on contracts. We need to get our factory level up. So that way we can start going into mass production. Because I don't think we really need anything too much here in terms of the base stuff right now. Maybe plastics soonish. Because some of the materials or the recipes seem like they use more and more plastic. But that means we're also going to have to start expanding. We do have a lot of money. So maybe we expand to another plot. 
maybe split up metalworking a bit. Maybe make just the metalworking side and then have an area for like plastics and sewing and painting and things like that. But we will see. We'll see. I'll probably think about it for a bit before next episode. But until then, take it easy, everyone. <laughs>